she had just graduated from, from law school with this huge tumor and she still graduated and is just an amazing person. So a little bit of shock and awe and then through acceptance it's just been, okay, how can we support her, help her in this fight that's she's still going through. She's still, you know, every day. We were all informing each other and figuring out a game plan. I applaud Steph with her just mental toughness. She went right into it and had a strategy and got the best doctors and really figured out how to attack it. It's definitely a shock. I mean, it's not something you hear every day that your friend is uh, going through something like that. And um, we were lucky that we were all you know, in close proximity to one another going throughout the summer. So Sam and I were able to go back on a regular basis every few weeks and spend the weekends with her. And uh, we called it uh, Club Smith towards the end of the summer because <laughs> we were there so much. Being in Maryland where she is right now, it's been nice because I go up and stay at her parents' house for a weekend and um, just kind of keep her company and hang out, do our nails, eat really good food, and just kind of chit-chat, make her laugh. She's still strong. Um, that's what we call her, Steph Strong. We started a program in a website called StephStrong.com, um, and we're hosting more, you know, races and just events to help raise awareness for brain cancer and help support Steph. And that was just so neat, having some of the cowgirls all come together and run a 5K for the Brain Tumor Society. A couple of the girls are wearing the t-shirts that we had in the run. Um, and it was, it, was, it was really fun, it was wonderful. Madeline Dale organized it, got everyone together, and we all met down in Philly. Um, and it was just really nice for all of us. It was all of everyone in our grade, pretty much, uh, 2009 grads, was able to make it. There actually was a, another race in San Diego for the Brain Cancer Society that I did get to run. The crane is a, a symbol for brain cancer. They've adopted the crane, and um, it has all of these symbolic meanings and I got to write Steph's name on it and, and write a little prayer request and, and run with all these people who are supporting this cause. So it was still nice to be involved since I can't be with Steph in Maryland. It was still nice to, to be able to support her in that way. You know, you have like best friends, but it's, there's something, the connection you have as a teammate is just unmatched. It's, uh, you can't necessarily explain it, but you just have this connection with one another. You don't speak every day. You're not seeing each other all the time, but you have just an unmatched this connection and you're always going to be there for one another.